Hello and welcome back, everyone. I hope you're doing okay. <laughs> Even with three... Simon, what's going on? <laughs> hey, so I am actually back. I am back, I'm back, I'm back from my travels. And what a travel it was, to be perfectly honest with you. I tell you what, I am just like, oh, so happy to be back. I really am. Um, so how are the sound levels? Can you hear everything? Brilliant. Uh, what are we doing? What are we doing? What are we doing? What we're going to do... What we're going to do is get ourselves over the Samesh system, do the first part of this goal. Second part of the community goal is going to be combat. Commanders in the chat. 07, Alexander, Simon, Marco, Eagle Chow, and Albertus. 07, everybody. Have a good old seven there. Hope you're doing okay. Mike, there he is. Being sneaky beaky. Let's get jumping. Got the Corvette. Because when we have to go in there and kill every ship in the system, that's what you got to do. Wariston, 07. Right. Well, it was a bit late for that because I'm jumping to some ash. Where is the Thetis? Even though I released a video on it yesterday, it was an old video. But, nevertheless, there it was. Urban Sparks, 07. Hope you're doing fine. Right. Uh, Thetis logs are 15 light years from Samash. Right. Okay. Have I got to find where the Thetis is? Thetis. Thetis generation ship. Kapow. Where is it? The Thetis Generation ship is... Orbiting the moon of Nefertum 6A. So, what we'll do is that. A little bit of story, isn't it? Have a little bit of story. Uh, here we go. V... There, there you go. It's going to have us jump back right there. So we're going to jump there before we get to Samesh. No problem. And go and check out the logs. We're going to have a look at the, the options. We're going to have a look at the audio. We're going to make sure voice volume is right the way up. We don't need no music. That's okay, okay. Voice volume. Blah, 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 blah. NPC voice volume. Let's pump up the volume. Back to the game. There we go. Right. 6A. 6A it is. It's two parts of the same story, apparently. Well, Athetis has been out for years. Thanks for the f subscribe, Commander. Oop, my buttons aren't working. Yes, they are. No, they are. Brilliant. So, let's get ourselves there then. And soothing, Commander Soothing. There you go, thank you too. Right, here we go, we're off. We gotta get round there. Get down. This isn't quite the warship I had in mind for going trolleying around, but no one's gonna mess with me in this, and I've got crew on board as well. So let's get into Nefertem. Hulk Samash. That's right, Commander Tailspinner. I thought that when I saw it as well. Mike, you can feel the gunner roll if you if you want. Up to you. You just gotta get in there and do it. And do you know what, right? It's quite nice for it not just to be all Thargoid for a bit. Although you've got to find it a little bit ironic. All this stuff is kicking off with the Thargoids. All these things. All this stuff is um is revealed so to speak and um now you've got let's have a look now 
One, two, three, four, five, six. I think it's going to be there. Right there. That's what I think. Let's get some discovery scanner on the go. This signal might be Thargoidian origin. I know there's an awful lot of stuff going on. There we go. And we got loads of fuel anyway. And we got all the weapons. Who cares? Let's get over there and see what it's all about. So, everyone in the chat, thank you for joining. Have a big 07. Of course, it is partner drops as well. Got a few unidentified signal sources. We could, of course, go here, do a little bit of this. Of course, every man's fleet carrier and his dog is going to be in you. Degraded emissions, left, right, and center. Sometimes it might just be easy just to fly towards the body and just scan it normally. You know, all that sort of stuff. Okay, so um, let's get out of that. Keep on, keep on trucking. Keep on going. Let's move all that over. It's amazing, I haven't been here for a week yet. My desk feels odd. Don't know what's going on. Now the commander in the house, Commander Tailspinner, bringing up the rear. And what's all this about those ships being, having a design flaw in the law? What's going on with that? Don't know what all that's about. Let me sort this out first. Aerodynamic calculations. Oh my word. Generation ship Thetis. There it is. Let's get over there. We can listen to the logs. Yeah, I was reading some of that. I was in an airport. I was thinking, what's going on? So, Generation Ship Thetis, here we go. Now, I've already got the logs for this on the channel. But it does tell a bit of a harrowing tale. But we're going to do this for completeness and for science. Yes, folks. I quite prefer that stinger to the other one I had. That one's a bit better. Right, here we go. Generation Ship Thetis on the dark side. Let's put the night vision on. Here we go, here we go, go, go. Of course, we've got pitiful lights here. Pitiful lights. Okay, we're going in. Let's see what it looks like without that first. It'll be all dark. You watch. What's going on? Oh, we're going to do the Halloween 
community goal, and we're going to do some space combat. So, there you are. That's the Thetis, that is. There we go. We've given it a good scan in. Into contacts, we get a little bit closer. We've got five logs. Zero we want. That's the first one. Let's go and find that. Of course, I am flying around in basically the tip of a spear. Here's the first one. Let's get over there, give it a scan in. Got the first one. So that was zero. Let's go for number one now. Let's back up, back up, back up. We're gonna back up. There it is, right by the thrusters. Missiles are locking up. DJ Burp, don't use missiles then, man. <laughs> That's the answer. Use good old lasers and guns. So That's log number one. Let's go number two. Well, you could always join in with us. Because we're going to be getting on to all of that now. So that's log number two, even though it's the third log, because there's five, and it starts at zero. So now it's log number four. We've got to go all the way back up there now. So you can't see much. All a bit of shadow. It's actually better when you add the wireframe on. Like that. You can see what you're doing. A little bit of light, but not much. Of course, I'm used to having smaller ships when doing this. Right, we got them all. Let's have a listen then, shall we? I'll turn my microphone off. Let's go. I am missing one. I thought I had log four. I got log four, didn't I? Let's have a look. So it's three I'm missing. Odd. Well, there it is over there. I thought I did it. Obviously, I didn't. Fortunately for us, it's not too far away. Right, now I think we got them all. There you go. Let's turn that off. Right. 
I've bumped up the volume. Can you all hear that? Because it's very faint. Other than that, nothing out of the ordinary. Apart from reports from some residents at the... Can you all hear that? Because it is very, very faint. Very faint. Um, sound effects, that's all very good. Voice volume. Ship voice volume is... Let's so pump that up. Soup voice volume. Oh, I'll put that up a bit there. Playlist volume. Well, that's not really what we need. You can hear it. Is it loud? Is it loud enough? I don't know. Okay. Thank you, Halon. Thank you, Simon. Brilliant. No worries. Could be. Is it playlist volume? Could be, couldn't it? Oh, it's loud now. Right, here we go. We'll try that again. Right, logs. Some of them are still walking around. 
Some of them are barely breathing. I have to find them. I have to silence them. And there you have it. Spooky's going on, right? Spooky goings on. One of the things I was interested in, right? Very interested in, were, was the first one, right? This one here. Let's play that again. Still all quiet out here in the black. Just had our very first ninth gen child born on ship. That takes the current population to 17,401. Other than that, nothing out of the ordinary. Uh, apart from reports from some residents at the northern end of Sea Deck, they've heard some kind of strange whispering sound coming from their apartment comms unit. I'm sure it's nothing, but I've dispatched a member of tech to investigate. But I think you're right. I think the, the plan is start scanning bodies in some mesh. I reckon that's the answer. That's what I think. Um, but anyway, that's the Thetis logs, okay? So that's all quite funky. Um, now, what I've seen is, what sort of waveform scanner? Um, is what I want. Is it Spanch I need? Something like that? Spanch? Not Spanch. What's that scanner program? Um, to scan that last message. QC. Kill them all. Written on it. Can't remember. Oh, well. There you go. I'm sure one of you clever people will remember and let me know. And I'll download it and get sorted. Let's get over to the... what you call it, system. Samash system, or whatever it is, where the community goal is, because we know that's kind of where it's all about. Samash. That's where we're off. What is it? It's a wave sound sound scanner, sound wave scanner. I don't know. Um, PC sound wave form scanner. Yeah, spectra analysis. That's the stuff. Virtual telescope. Uh, have I got to turn the other PC on? Quite possibly. Um, I'm going to just have a look at what I just recorded as we fly off towards here. Let's just move that out of the way because that's getting on my nerves, that is. Right. Um, okay, video temp files. And then I'm going to go into what I just recorded in Elite Dangerous because I was recording that right the way to the bottom. Uh, which was that one? I think if I pop that in there. 
I need an audio file of that. That's going to be great, isn't it? Right, okay, let's get an audio file of it then. I'll extract it to a WAV file in Video Studio, which is what I use for this sort of stuff. Um, let me see, let me see, let me see, let me see, let me see. Elite. Elite, there it is. Let's scroll all down to the bottom of that. Of course, you're not seeing any of this, but I, I'm, I am flying around this like there's no tomorrow. And there's this one. I want that. I want to put it in as that. Drop it there. Share. And I want to record that as a... Right, what's this program taking in? No audio file. I don't know, we'll just do it in WMV format. I don't know, audio. Pfft. WMA. Um, kill them all. Let's have a look. Start. That was done quite quickly. Let's see if we can pop that in there. And then we'll see what the waveform says. Ah, video recordings. Uh. Okay, it's not that, it's not that, it's that. It's, that opens. Is it going to load in? Of course it isn't. What's... Th Remind me, people. What was that program that people use? Oh seven, 7 Daniel. Oh seven, 7 everyone in the chat. Knight Templar, Chris Walters. Audacity. That's the stuff. That's the stuff. That is indeed the stuff. Right, let's get Audacity. Okay. Open that file. Yes. English. Next. 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 Install. Right. Brilliant. Audacity. Yeah. Finish. Launch Audacity. And I'll share it now so we can all see it. Okay. Okay. Right. Right then, so let's add a new source, shall we? And we'll call it um, a window. Capture a window, capture a window, capture something. <sighs> window capture, add a source. Audacity, A U D A C T. Audacity, window. Audacity. Whee! There you are, look, see? And you thought I couldn't do it. So, here we go. Audacity, right? And then what we're going to do is we're going to drag the file. File, the file. We're going to drag that file, which I aptly named Kill Them All, into it. Uh, what do you mean? Only a WAV file. Oh, my God. Okay then, start. Brilliant. I got kill them all dot wav now. I have. Brilliant. Let's get Audacity back in the house. Kill them all dot wav. Eee. Right now. 
is the thing. Can I remember how to do it? <clears throat> um, we want to go to, I think it's some like spectral tools, something like that. Help me out, people. It was, I'm pretty sure it's spectral tools, distortion, reverb, equalizer, volume, unsure. There's a way you can scan it and, and it shows you a picture. Isn't there? Generate. Um, 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 um. I'll have to have the little next to kill them all. Yeah, little down arrow. Yeah, and it's spectrogram, isn't it? That's right. Ah, yes, there we are. Now there's something there, isn't it? Right click on the left where it says it. Yeah, there we go. So we've got the settings for that then. So that looks very good, and there's definitely something in there. Yes. Split the stereo track. Now, there's going to be a way of of tweaking it so we can bring it all together, isn't it? So we can add an effect on this. Uh, gonna be there. Like that. And I think we can... That's a recording level. I haven't used this for ages. That's not going to be what we want. We want to change the kilohertz of it, don't we? Make it louder. Any ideas, people? Any ideas at all? Perhaps we just speed it up. I don't know, slow it down. Let's listen to it. Right left on the clip where it says it. Uh, yeah, where it's right click on the left where it says it. Yes. Ah, yes. Let's try that. No, that's too much. Yeah, I, I did it years ago. Um, Interesting. Let's just, um, let's get rid of that one. We're nearly there. We're nearly there. We're nearly there, I think. Uh, 
That's not going to be anywhere. Hmm. I'm sure it's like either speed it up, slow it down, or check the check the rate. Um, let's try this and let's go tools. There's a way you can speed it up. Uh, pitch and tempo, change speed. Oh, it's nearly coming through. Spooky stuff. Change the speed. I don't know. Forty five. How different it sounds, eh? Getting fed up of this already. Whatever. Anyway, I'm sure there's some message hidden in that that says kill them all. I think I've seen it somewhere. I don't know if that's the case. You know, I, I really don't know. I really don't. Click the bottom edge of the track and enlarge the window. The bottom edge of the track and enlarge the window. Like that. Okay. Done that then, Marco. What are we going to do next? Change the speed of it, I'd imagine. Uh, Analyze effect. Pitch and tempo. Change speed. I think we got to change it so it's quicker. 78. Nope. Was it in the smash messages? Because it looks like there's something in this. I don't, you know, I don't know, like. There's something definitely there. Could be, could not be. I don't know. Is this going to force people back to all the mega ships? And to do this sort of analysis on them? Could be. Anyway. Not today. Let's, um. Yeah, I. I I don't know. I, I don't know. I don't know. Should we be... What should we even be doing with it? Slow it down. Speed it up. Speed it up, I would have said, but I don't know.
Anyway, we'll keep that in our back pocket, right? We'll keep it in the back pocket. Uh, we'll get rid of that and get back on with things. It could well be. We're going to go and have a look in, in um, wherever we're going. Shamesh. John. 07, by the way. Superbra, 07. And Keat. Yo! Was there Morse code? Right, let's get over there. Oh dear me, still very tired. Though man, did I have some barbecue. My God. I think I had barbecue every day when I was out there. And I got there Saturday night, just before the Grand Prix kicked off and you could not get near the Grand Prix. You could not get near it. And then, and then the beef coma started. Unbelievable. So, We've got all the Shamash stuff. Right. Shamash comms beacon. Let's get round there. Let's slow it down a bit. Commander Tail Spinner. Here we go. Right. So while my ship very slowly cooks itself. Why am I exploring? I'm too close to the sem, I think. I'm always exploding about semming. Let's get over there. Right. Let's see what this log's all about. So I see. So these are only logs two of ten. So we've got to go to each one of the beacons by the lo by the lock by the look of it. There you go, Commander Rocket Face, O seven, Sphere Lance, O seven. So we've got two of ten here. So let's 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 have a let's have a listen, shall we?
Hostile pilots have been detected attacking civilian ships. Piracy has not been observed. Uh, uh, no motive has been given. Extreme caution in this system is advised. Right, that's the first log. I haven't scanned them all yet, no. But they sounded very something very similar to Thargoidish at the beginning of that. But we'll see. We'll have a little look. We'll stick it into the, the spanch thing and and see what happens. Right, we'll see what happens. Um, right, that's the first one. Let's have a look at the second one. Here we go. Okay, so that, that was that one. That sounded a bit like Roadworks. You're not wrong there, Alexander. You're not wrong. So, um... Let me see. Again, I'm going to have to throw them into Video Studio and convert them just to sound and then mess about with it I think uh... I think I think or can I just put them into audacity I don't think I can just put them into audacity new let's try it though I don't think you can just drag video into audacity and it convert it but you never know We'll do this for science. Let's have a look at the first one. I don't think that's going to work. No, it's not. It's got to be a wave or an AIFF file. So, okay, and let's get that into, where is it gone? Video Studio. Into that. Share. Audio, we'll say a wave file, and we'll call it Shamash. One. Start. Okay. Then we'll edit that. Take that one out. Put the second one in. Call that Shamash 2. Audio, and we want it as a WAV file, and we'll say start. Brilliant. Move that down. And then, everybody, we will bring Audacity to the front. Of course, that's, that's not kind of not what you're seeing. Um, don't know why it's displaying that.
Right, brilliant. Okay, done. Fantastic. Now we're going to drag one of those those audio files in. Right, so we're going to say, okay. Samash 1. And then we're going to say over here, and we're going to go to format, uh, spectrogram. Now that, that looks a bit better, doesn't it? Get the loop back. Yeah, I could do. Oh, it can record direct, can it? Ah, I see. Let's take... Let's just take this one. Oh, would you... Let's take this. Um, I'm assuming we can just speed this up and it'll bring it all together. How, however, I don't know. So, um, split to mono. Let's get rid of one. We can bring that in. Like that. Um, right. Effect. I'm pretty sure it's... Pitch and tempo and change speed. And we want to. Sp oh, I have selected the audio. Come on. Control A. Generate effect. Change speed. So it's 78. Let's go 45. I don't know. Is this, is this right? I mean, I don't know what I'm doing. Generate effect. I'm missing somewhere. It's something there, and I I'm missing something. Um, format rate. Let's try it as that. So Marco says, when I click with the right button where hurts and bits are written, a menu opens. That's all I get. But it's definitely something to do with that. Let's try that. Oh, you can't see them. Right, okay. Well, that's too... Um, I'm clicking on the rate. Definitely something there. Up to 19,200 kilohertz. Mm. 
Yeah, it could be. I, I don't know. I don't know if there is anything there or what. I mean, I really don't know. Let's see if we if we got anything over here. That's like 800 kilohertz. That's the whole message. Play it backwards, Supermax. Yeah, it could do. Let's try it. Okay, so let's get it way back to where it was. Kind of looks like something there, doesn't it? Let's take out that. Uh, control, control Z. Uh. I ain't doing this stuff. Um, that's one. Let's just try playing it backwards then. Um, let's see. This is what we got so far. Definitely something in that. There. There's something here, I reckon. So if we, like, bring that up. Like that. Tools. Uh, plug your manager. Effect. Fading. Delay, volume, compression, reverse. Because the other stuff, we played at 66 RPM. This is the bit we want. Right, let's stop that. Let's split the clip. Right, we don't want that. We really just want this bit down here, I'd imagine. This. Let's get rid of that. That's the stuff I think we need. Um, let's try the different rates on this now. So it's got to go quicker. The audio does sound backwards, so let's, let's reverse it. It's 
definitely something, isn't it? Definitely. Format. Alright. Let's try 70. This might be too quick. Yeah, I don't know. It's just beyond me. Any suggestions? Because I'm kind of out of it. Special. That's perverse. Um. Let's go back to like a middle of the road one. Play that. You nearly make it out. Um, let's try speed. Change the speed. Have a look. Generate effect. Change speed. Let's change that down. Thirty-three. Let's try forty-five. Make it go even slower. Here we go. Nope. I'm sure there's something there, but I'm. It's beyond me. How how you do it. I'll have to look at some of the other stuff that I've done in the past and I've, I've forgotten how to do it. Pitch and tempo, speed. Let's just try 78. Nope. I'm sure some, some clever swine has done it. And it's definitely sounds like there's something right there so I mean I don't know I don't know I'll have to wait till someone sorts it out but it sounds like there's something in the middle of all of that I would say let's turn the sound out and blow your speakers out there we go okay so um, let's go to the nav beacon, scan that. I'd have a look on the internet for that one, but at least we're collecting the logs. I don't want the resource extraction, so I don't want the nav beacon, which is what I wanted. Interesting stuff, though. Interesting stuff so far.
Come on, come on, hurry up. It doesn't go quick enough. Oh, okay. Nav beacon. There it is. This will give us all the other beacons we have to go to. Brill. So there's com beacon one. I was expecting a lot of other comms beacons. Oh no, I'm being scanned. I wouldn't be a bit surprised. We have to we have to go around now and have a good go at everything else. Go to Garrett Orbital as well. Right, it was scanning me, just so we're, we're clear. Dean Richards, 07 Dean. Who's this? Cheeky monkey, Torval Shield, eh? Collecting all that data, here we go. Let's get over to Garrett Orbital, because the comms beacon right there, one, two, three, four. So let's get over there. And he said, oh, yeah, you know, there was a problem. And there's, there's the comms beacon. So let's go. I could sleep for a week. Cause you know when you're on planes, you're like this. Oh, horrible. Horrible, uncomfortable seats. Oh, right, you've done it. Brilliant, good man, Simon. How many planets are there? I haven't looked yet. It looks like there's quite a few. Yeah, there, there's flipping loads in there. Should we just start doing the exploration? Should have brought an exploration ship. And not a battle cruiser. 14 moons. It's not bad. Yeah, I've got limpets here on the Corvette. Fuel is what I need. Oh, I've got half a tanker, so right. Because there's no station here, is there? Or is there? I don't know. Plenty of carriers. Plenty of conflict going on. Plenty of beef. Simak Keep. I think, right? I mean, if it's actually a thing, we go to each of the planets and have a good nose around. But what are we going to find? And that is a and that mega ship will give me fuel, yeah. Let's just go and gather.
gather this data. Come on, comms beacon. Oh, excuse me. Am I on am I on Austin, Texas time or am I not? That is just ridiculous. Comes beacon. I don't want jet lag. I don't even want to go flying for a while. I've had enough of it. I have flown. I have flown. Well, it was twenty thousand kilometers that journey, and I've done it four times. I'm exhausted. Scan him up. There's signals number three. Here we go. a bit heavy in it it's um let's do the necessary all i wanted to do is shoot some shoot some ships today and it's not gonna happen is it Right, okay, I've got that in there. We're gonna share that, and we're gonna share it as audio, and we're gonna call it Shamesh 3. Start. Right. Here we go again. We want a spectrogram. If we scroll all the way along here, there's definitely something in there. Look, this this bouncy stuff here. I just have absolutely no idea. Yeah, oh, it's a bit less strenuous. Let's do the rate. Let's do it at, I don't know, that one. No. Right, let's do it at that one. No, let's do it at that one. 
I don't know. I don't know how people do it. That's 44. Hertz. That's 22. It's definitely something here. Definitely something there. It should be visible as is. Well, this is it, right? That That's the file. I'm right-clicking. I'm going to spectrogram. But multi-view. multi, multi -view. There. There it is. There. Right. Hold your horses. I missed it. It's all the way over here. I'll, I will I will move it so you can see it. Um, the bit we want is... The bit we want is... That bit. And then... We want to... Get rid of that. It says, kill them all. Somehow. Narco, 07, man. Can you just make it out? Kill them all. It says, kill them all. Right there. Now, how do I make that bigger? Select, edit. If I copy that, can I get into paint? Obviously not. Edit. Copy. Will it go into paint? No, it won't. What is wrong with interconnectivity on Windows these days? Anyway, there you are. It says, trust me, it says, kill them all right at the top there. If you can just about see that. Um... View. Zoom. Zoom in. We're zooming in. Control one. Right, here we go. Oh, it's done winning it. it. Says kill them for me. That's what it says. What a load of messing about. Kill them for me. For who? We don't know. That's what we found at log three then, right? Kill them for me. Good for them. Interesting. That Sergio. Okay. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yes, I have back. I'm re I've returned. Returned from afar is where I've returned. Okay, so that was, th that, was that one. We've still got more beacons. Beacon bacons to go to. Garrett Orbital comms beacon 2. Where's that then? Oh, quite a way away. Pop that down a bit. I know it's only 30. I don't know why I went to frame shift. I came tired. 
Oh, I'm tired, I'm tired, I'm tired. The ship's never going to come round in time. Never, ever, 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 ever. Here we go. Yeah, I know. Where's the undo button? Got this great stuff over there, though. Melatonin. Right? And um, I got the stuff before, but it was like they were like dissolvables. I got the gummies this time. Yeah. You get a good kip with them, I tell you what. I'm going to hit that. There it is. Brilliant. Brill. More logs. This is number four. Here we go. Let's pump up the volume. Pump up the volume. Right, here we are then. Well, that sounded like it was slowed down and reversed. But we're here for a little bit of science, so that's what we're going to do. That's what we want. Right, just got to find out where it was now. What game are we playing? We're playing Elite Dangerous. Played a good game. It's in beta at the moment. It's released in December. It's um, Stargate RTS. First mission is available on Steam. My word, it's hard. It took me a good hour to complete it. Brilliant. That's that done. Right. Shamesh four. Bring this thing up. So the last one we had was kill them for me. Right. This one, we're going to drag it in. We're going to see what the scores on the doors are. It's not that. Um, I don't know why it's doing that. That's very irritating. Right, there we go. Let's bring it up. Audacity. Open. 
Here we go. Right. Lovely. Where's that file gone? There it is. Number four. Plonk it in. And if you remember, right, we heard this. So all that can be removed straight away to about there. Sounds slowed down, right? Change the speed. Effect. Pitch and tempo. Change speed. I don't know. It's currently at 45. Let's put it at 33. Bye. Yeah, well. Too fast. What, whatever. What, whatever it is people are doing. Or whatever message is hidden in that. I honestly don't know. Um, it was at 45. And we heard... Whatever we heard. I don't know. I'm getting tired now, to be honest. Can we see anything in... Spectrogram form. Not really. Oh seven. So yeah, so so we've got that one anyway. I mean nothing nothing's overly apparent in finding this, but who knows? Right, okay. <clears throat> so that was that was log four. Comms Beacon 3. Right, where's that then? So have they fixed the community goal? Are there ships to destroy? That's the question. You all thought I was going to hit that then. Okay. Here's the next one then. Peoples.
Yeah, I'm not even going to bother looking at that. To be perfectly honest. They're not even voice acting, they're just playing background music at you. Um, there's one more to go. And then we're going to get on and do something a bit less boring instead. Yeah, so we're coming up on the last beacon. Who's that? Alphalus. 07, Commander. Thanks for that. There it is. Give it a bit of a scan in. So this is log 7 out of 10. Okay. That's well, hardly what you call exciting, that is it. How was my trip, DJ Burt? My trip was tiring, but illuminating. I had an awful lot of beef and barbecue beef at that. It was very nice indeed. It really was. It was, it was something else, to be perfectly honest. But I'm absolutely tired. Yeah. Um, so we've got one, two, three, four. Seven, nine. Interesting. And that's the Garrett Beacons. We've done the Com Beacon 3, I believe. Have we? I don't know. It must be leading us somewhere else, but for the life of me, I have no idea where it is. I'm sure we've been there by the Nav Beacon. So... Okay then, fab, fantastic, fabulous. Where's the combat zone? There it is, conflict zone. Let's start with that one. I don't see anything else here. <laughs> then again, my eyes are now not working. Yeah, I think a little bit of combat. Let's blow. Yeah, I should know the turrets are assigned. <laughs> what are we doing now? Um, right. Okay. Uh. 
So I got my stuff done. And with the ship, turrets. Any turrets I've got on forward fire. If that's what you're talking about, Mikey boy. Right, let's find... A conflict zone. Now, do you shoot everything or you just... I don't know. Not that one. For that one. Nope, not that one either. Need grey swan. Select it first, then look top right. <sighs> nope, that's not going to be it. Grey Swan Pirates. Ah, that one. That's where we're off. Bit of a ways out, mind, isn't it? Let's get cracking. Ah. Grey Swan Pilots, I should say. And who's to say it's the Grey Swan Pilots we should be shooting? Like, I'm sure it is. Oh, it's going to take a while to get there. Apparently, they're the ones that have indeed gone mad. Apparently. But we are en route. And the rain is starting yet again. Well, hello, Steve. Nice to see you, to see you. Nice. Um, well, it's all part of the Halloween thing, not part of the Thargoid story, I believe. But no one really knows. It's part of this Halloween thing going on in the skull, so I think it's just limited to that. These are the pilots who have gone mad after listening to those messages. And I've listened to those messages, and I can see why they've gone mad. Right, let's get in there, shoot some peoples. So the idea is go in there. The Grey Swan have gone mad. So mad, they can fly ships. Um, this is the thing, you see. Power!
beam lasers. Entering conflict zone. Brilliant. I'm going to fight for that network. Brilliant. Let's go. We want. Oh no, we're under attack. Commander Tail Spinner, you are in the wing. As far as I understand it. In fact, it's not my wing. It is Commander Simon's. Let's give them some. Give them the lasers. Have it! Smashing them up! Let's slow it down a little bit. Now, do you all want the night vision on or do you just want to see it glow? Oh, we gave him a good smash in then. He gone bang. Meanwhile, while that's doing that, let's go and shoot someone else. Like, I don't know, him for example. System Defense Force. Let him have it. Let's move a bit. Get a bit of maneuverability on it. Now, if you get in the top 10%, you get a free skull suit. Apparently. Apparently. Yeah, they're not like, you know, flying erratically, are they? And the, the funny thing about it is they've gone mad, but they're not shooting each other. Do you know what I mean? That's all I'm saying. So, like, you know, these pilots are slightly miffed. And to be fair, no more miffed than they usually are. Comes. So what's this guy got? Like you know, on his, on his L. What's he got on his L? You know, and he and he's in he's in an ASP scout for crying out loud. Next. He's out of range. He won't be. There's someone who needs a bit of beef. Keep up the pressure, they say.
Gone. Next. Cheeky little viper. Yeah, exactly. You need to do loads of these. And it's going to be hard work. Are you doing ups? Look at them. They're so mad, they're able to leave a combat zone. That's how mad they are. Out of range, out of range. Ooh, I hit another Viper Mark IV. Seems to be just one more left. Go on, go and get the stuff. Here we go. See, nothing wild coming in. It's just typical combat. There you go. Another one down, keep going. Is there anybody else left? I mean, I don't know. That's it. Woo! Now, it would be something that if it was a zone and that your own crew... Like, I've got a crew member here. What's her name? She started attacking me. Now, that would be something, wouldn't it? Right? But, you know, it, it, it's like, well, there's the story. That's the plan. They've all gone mental. Go and shoot them all. You know. Shoot them all, I say. Shoot them all. What materials we got going on? Loads of materials. All of the materials. He's got all the materials. And I'm going to take a quick gentleman break, if you know what that means.
Okay, hopefully I'm not dying. Doesn't look like I'm dying. <clears throat> What's going on? Right. Brill. Nothing to worry about. And we've picked up loads of stuff. Conductive components and all sorts of nonsense. So. Suppose let's jump out, jump back in. Jump around. Oh, dear me. So, we're going to do a poll. Right? And the poll is... Are you enjoying... The... Halloween stuff? Because I typically like the Christmas stuff. Yes? No. Here we go. We'll start our poll. There we are. The poll is in there if you are on Twitch. Jam biscuits. Well, actually, it's not. It's barbecue ribs I've put on this time, as it happens. Um, right. Incidentally, so films I watched on the plane and television I watched on the plane. We haven't done that for a while, have we? Um, I watched... What did I watch? I watched The Dark Knight. Always a good film to watch. I watched Indiana Jones, the new one. Always a good film to watch. Then I got. Then I watched that Jennifer Lawrence film. Um, whatever she's called. And then I watched some stuff off Paramount. So I went through the season two, first three episodes of Star Trek. And then I went through um, the Kiefer Sutherland one called Rabbit Hole, also on Paramount. They only give you a couple on the plane, because otherwise you're just going to rinse it. So it was quite interesting. Um, very good. Two very good things as well. So I watched those. Um, yeah, not bad. Not bad at all. Rabbit hole. What, in the lead or generally in the lead? Okay, here we go. Let's do the, the thing. We're going to fight for that faction. Let's get in. Get it on the go. Let's launch our, our plane. Right. Where's he gone? Smash him up. Thing is, they do all that and they put the tinsel out the windows and all the rest of it. And to be fair, good for them. But you get close enough with these with these ships, and um, they can put all the tinsel out they want. Let's put that on so you can all see what's happening. Yeah, I haven't got all 10 logs yet. Are you doing fish sticks? Yeah, I haven't got all 10 logs yet. Not sure what I got. I've got the ones from the thesis. And I've got... Well, I'll have a look in a minute. And I got one, two, three, four. I need five, six, seven. Is what I need. 
The size of this thing. Type 9. Heavy. Gotta have it. It needs it. Look. It needs it. He ain't going anywhere. Gone. Cup hop. Who's next? This guy here. You can have lasers all day long. Check the livery after finishing your scanning. Okay. Oh, really? Okay. So I've got to find where the other logs are. So there's, I think it's um, five, six, seven, and ten. I'm missing. Where's he going? Away, obviously. So, um, yeah, just to check that, what did we get? <sighs> One, two, three, four, so I need five, six, eight, and ten. So, still haven't got all the logs yet. But we are picking up loads of materials, so that's all right. I dare say we're going to need all of that crap. Else they wouldn't have put this sort of community goal in you. That's what I think. I don't even know what paint jobs we're having, to be honest with you. All I do know is on the votes, Barbecue Ribs is holding its own. With three out of the nine people who are currently voting. Place your bets, please. It is top 10 commanders. And if we look at the goal, the Konhusu Gleam, which is that mega ship that's not too far away. Not too far away at all. Yeah, I gotta have a look at look at the skins actually. They do look quite good, don't they? I mean to be fair. I don't think I'm gonna get one, but when else are you gonna use it? Skeleton skin. No space for material. Oh no. I'm picking up material and I got no space. That says something, doesn't it? So it must have been all this stuff that I've got absolutely tons of. Chemical processes and things like that. And that's the sort of stuff you want. Okay, so we're going to jump out then. What are we doing? So let's go and find these other logs. Because I have no idea where they are. Affirmative. 
Oh, barbecue ribs is getting it. Barbecue ribs is getting it. We're getting closer with barbecue ribs. Okay, here we go. I mean, what's it work out to? How many arcs is it? Come on, come on, come on. That's what, a fiver? Five pounds, five dollars, something like that. Yeah, it's interesting, isn't it? So, yes, has won it. People are enjoying the Halloween stuff as well, which is good stuff. White fleet carrier numbers. Well, we are, well, we are splurging the cash. The pallet business must be doing well. How many pallets you made? Right, so, logs, everyone. We've done the ones around genetics. We've done the one... That's all right, isn't it? You've made nine this week. That's pretty cool, 120 pound bucks, Australians. So where are you getting the rest of the logs from? That's what I want to know. That's what I want to know. There's Beacon 3. I think we've already done that one. Yeah, the comms beacons. So there's... Yeah, so there's... Beacon 3. The Garrett, Garrett Orbital beacons. I've done all of those. So perhaps I've missed Beacon 3 then. I don't know. Let's see. A load around. Yeah, there's four around there. I've done those. I missed. Did I miss two and three? Did I? More than likely, I thought I had. I thought I'd done it. One was in the sun. Yeah, I. Mm, I thought I had. Mm, I can't remember. I'm so tired. This jet lag's killing me. Okay, so this is Beacon 3. Beacon Bacon 3. That's going to be the victory lap of victory laps, isn't it? Okay. I'm fought the up. Okay. All right. Brilliant. We'll have a look. J. Elric, 07. Josie, 07. Or Jose.
Vasily, 07. Okay, here's our, here's our listening post. There's six and ten, so I need to find number two. <laughs> I know I'm knackered. I am utterly, utterly, utterly shattered. So we've got that. We're all done. Let's find the other one. I got all those. So it's beacon two. There's beacon one. Done that. Oh. I'm pretty sure. Ah, there it is. Let's go. Because they could have voice acted them, couldn't they? I think with those logs, it wouldn't have taken that much to get someone in, in the room with a microphone. It hasn't got to be done professionally. It is barbecue withdrawal. I went to Lambert's, right, fish sticks, and it was amazing. And um, I had the brisket sandwich, and then we ordered some stuff, you know, nibbles for the, the table. And it was like some sort of like, it was, it was burnt ends in a cheese sauce. Oh my God, it was brilliant. And you like just dipped your tacos in it. That was amazing. It was better than the sandwich, to be fair. Oh my God, I've put on half a stone. I've put on half a stone. It was crazy. But it was good. The first night you went to somewhere else. Oh yeah, I wasn't playing. It was, it was, um, I wasn't paying. The company was paying. In fact, not even my company was paying. Their company was paying, which is even better. And then there was a place across the way, Con, Con, Contessa, I think it was. We went there the first night. Again, they were paying, not us. And, um, that was all right. Very pricey. I know. Very pricey, right? Um, compared to the other place. You know, tiny portions. I, th I had a... I ordered the short rib taco. And I got a short rib taco. You know, there's no embellishments on the side. It was like... I went, huh. Glad I'm not paying for this. But on the last evening, I had braised bris brisket. And that was absolutely fantastic. Arr brisket good old bit of brisket um and where we were staying it was on the 183 anyway there's an aloft hotel up there and normally we don't get this but because it was sort of like it was formula one weekend everyone put their prices up so this was like bloody miles away from where we were staying or where the thing was so we're there and 
my room was on the on the on the ground floor, and I was so close to reception, I could have been sat on reception. And two o'clock in the morning, obviously the people on the front desk were getting bored and were playing pool. So I woke up at two o'clock in the morning with them going, k-tsh, k-tsh, you know, playing pool. So I, fair enough, no problem. Put my ear pods in, I, I fall asleep. So then the next morning, my friends turned up and we're sat in the foyer having a cup of coffee and having a looking around. And I look up and it's one of these places that is going to be in with the kids. So all the decor is all Minecraft. So I'm painting a picture here, right? And um, they had a bar as well, which is strange. Which not, an awful lot of hotels in America don't have a bar. Anyway, so we're sat there, we're talking, and it was raining and all the rest. And we think, oh, what's going on here? And um, we look at the ceiling, and there's all these, like, industrial pipe effect coming down. Although it's not what you normally see, like, in restaurants and stuff, where it's your, your chrome pipe and all the rest of it. No, you were looking directly up at the waste pipes of the upstairs bathrooms, toilets, right? And one was leaking. They just painted them black. And one was leaking over in the bar area. So when someone went through their morning evacuations, should we say, right? Flush, you could even flush. And be like, what's going on? Oh, it was a shit pit. It really was a pit. And, oh, you know, at least it was clean. No, it wasn't, because I've got bites on my legs. I mean, it was 35 degrees the first day on the Saturday. Uh, Same on the second day for the Grand Prix. And after that, it rained. And then it got hot really quick. I know. um, It is crazy stuff, man. Crazy stuff. So did we get them? I think we got them. We got them. So, let's pump up the volume and have a listen. So, five. Now again, I don't know if there's anything hidden in those transmissions. There was in the other one, but let's go to six then.
Don't know what's going on there, if anything. There's a little ping, 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 ping on it. Yeah, we've got the next one. This is 10, right? So we've heard them all in. Well. I really don't know what all that's about. But this is this is the other one. Um, something that looks like Morse code. Won't let me off the ship. I'm trapped. I can't leave. Can't go elsewhere. Well, I've got to do what I'm told. Have to find them. Let's see what... Because you can play it. Let's see what it's all about. I, I honestly don't know what to do there. It sounds like there's a hidden message in there, but to be honest with you, I haven't got the first inclination on how to do it. Um... Where's that ship? You know, and, and you're right, it's, um... Yeah, it's a bit dead space, isn't it? That's right, Chris, it's a bit dead space. Bit dead space indeed. So I got all the logs so far. Then the Thetis logs as well. I dare say all this is going to go and point. It needs to point to a ground settlement to give it a bit of parity now, right? You, you've had a generation ship. You've had beacons. Well, now it needs to be, say, a ground beacon. I have some bodies laying around. The Kahonzu Gleam. That's what it is. Because interesting. I've not seen anybody on Reddit doing any of this either. Unless they're waiting or they haven't released it yet. But, you know, it's one of those things. Unless I'm looking at the wrong Reddit. Yeah, we're just saying it sounds a little bit like dead space.
Someone interdicted you? No way. I go and drop the bonds off over here. So the good news is my daughter's leg is now not broken. Which means, fantastically enough, we can um, do a good bit of streaming because she's back at rugby. Yeah, she's running around the veil at the moment, doing whatever it is 15 year old girls do. Best not ask. I'm not going to ask. I don't want to know. That's my missus's job. She can ask. So here's the Kahunzu Gleam. Halloween event, fast heal. Yes. Hey. Yeah, did we? What? Yeah. Do you know what? It was about, what, five weeks? It certainly wasn't the six she was expecting. It was only a minor, a minor uh, fracture. So she was lucky. How did that happen? Good grief. Probably because it's on the other side of the field, isn't it? Hundred and ninety four. Gee, where's Batman? Let's try that again. Yeah, I suppose, really. Yeah, I'll have to Google that. It's going to take me ages to get there. Because I'm on the wrong side, aren't I? Obviously, I'm on the wrong side. Right, brilliant. Here we go. That's going to be a right pain in the ass to get to this, isn't it? Yeah. Now, what if you were being, coming back here, you were then being attacked by the Grey Squan mob, or the Ant Hill mob, or whatever they are? That would be something. Go make the tea. Yeah, we'll be here all day. I know. Are uh, we? It's eating up the kilometers, look. Yeah, so all in all, Texas was quite interested, especially the hotel. I mean, the hotel where the event was being held, that was all right. But we didn't get to stay there. It was a huge amount of money. My God, the bar was expensive. Request 
Docking request granted. So we want pad one. It's over there. Let's start the slow, slow the tank down. So we've got all the logs. I'm assuming the rest of the stuff is going to drop. You know, over the next couple of days for Halloween. And because I was away, I missed the um, the frame shift live. They mentioned an update as well, didn't they? So, if I go starport services, I go mission board and go community goals. Oh, look at that. I'm in the top 75. <laughs> what do I get for that? Nothing. So, look. Yeah, yeah. Blah, blah, blah. Blah, blah, blah. Recruiting people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah. As additional incentive... Top 10 will receive the Wraith Spectre Sand Suit. And there you go. A patch for issues only. Ah, I see. Yep. I'm going to go pad hog in. Right, what have we got round here then? Everyone's having a lot of fun at the spire. It's like they want to slow the game down by putting this in the way. That's what I think it is. They're putting this in the way and they're slowing the game down. Oh, look at this. We've got a Braben tunnel. Oh, no. No, we haven't. Right. Let's see if we can find ourselves a conflict zone then. Grey Swan. Yeah, we'll have some of that. Yeah, and do you know what? You're not wrong there, Fish. Sticks. I thought, oh, God, here we go. Bone Idol. 07. So by tomorrow, I'll have, I would have had more sleep. I'll be more with it. I see people are doing um, Thargoid Spire pad jumping in SRVs. Are people making it?
Because those spires are so much fun. I still haven't got any of those unrefined and semi-refined materials. Puffies, 07! Well, they are making it. Oh, good for them. Yeah, so at least they're dragging the Halloween thing out a bit, aren't they? I suppose just releasing it all in one go and people going, yep, okay. Like the Christmas one, I enjoyed the Smiling Cat one more than the Sandra Claus one they had last year. Oh, fish sticks. I bought the gummies, dude. Uh, but not a CBD one, because I would have had no chance of getting that back. Whatever. But, like, the melatonin stuff, I had two of them. Night, night. Oh, yeah, the SRV King. <laughs> well, yeah, I think, it, again, it's just do it or don't do it. It's like, you know, it's just one of those things. It's all gone dark, look. Let's get her out there. No, I've done the wrong one, bollocks. <laughs> I did the wrong one! Yes, Commander. Docking fighter immediately. <laughs> My brain's not working. My brain is not working. Come on, dock the bloody ship or I'm leaving without you. Come on. Right, that's it. Jump. That was so ridiculous. <clears throat> Fancy signing up to fight for the wrong bloody bloody... Right, I want to fight for that faction. Thank you. Weapons. Excellent to have me on the team. Where is everybody? There's no one left, is there? They've all Foxtrot Oscared off. <laughs> No, we're going we're gonna to have to jump away, aren't we? Oh, no, there's someone. Where did he come from?
Yes, we got his power plant down. His pants are toast. Only 30 grand. 30,000. Right, what have we got going on here then? Oh yeah, two billion killing an authoress. I mean, that's what you want, isn't it? He's gone. Next. Smash him up. I'm on a roll, am I? I'm on a ro I'm on a ham roll, cheese roll, sausage roll. Shoot that dinner plate, that's what I say. Although I do like the Asp Explorer, I think it's pretty good. Is that, oh, they're gonna change that. They will change that, Narco. Yeah, I think we need to do something a little bit like that on foot and the ships. You know? I mean, I'm not sure if a lot of people are interested in, in this. I mean, to get top 10%, I mean, you've got to put the work in. There's just a lot more interesting things to do inside Elite than just this. See that ship just blow past them? Yeah, grindy, 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 grind. No tiered rewards on this one, you know. It's like, well, hmm, okay.
Where's he going? There. They're pulling back, are they? Really? The mad people are pulling back. Yeah. And like, to be fair, Halloween? All good and interesting stuff. Oh yeah, it is all death and destruction at the spire sites, mind you. It's it's kind of all there, isn't it? Um, it's like within the first hour, people had worked out what they had to do. Now that's either good gameplay design or bad gameplay design. I don't know. And they look absolutely spectacular. Even more spectacular if there were zombie Thargoids running around. Do you know what I'm saying? That's what I'm saying. Zombie Thargoids. Dude. Dude Broma. Is the game any good? Yes. Did you get the full game? Did you say you get Odyssey? The game is fantastic. There is so much you can do. It'll be the best, however much you spent on it, you've ever spent on a game. In my opinion. Oh, exactly. Do you know what? There's, you've got such a treat in this game. If you can, if you persevere, watch the videos, people doing things, you know, it's, it's going to be brilliant. Exactly. Don't go rushing to an anaconda. Play the game. All right? Play the game. That's my advice. You know, you're not gonna you're not gonna get to a ship like this straight away. And neither should you. Right? Because a lot of fun is had in the smaller ships. That's what I would suggest. So what I'm going to do is leave it here for tonight. We're going to be back on tomorrow. We're going to continue this. And then we might go and do something a little bit less boring instead. Because we're never going to get top 10%, right? Because everyone's having to go because there's a free skin involved. Um, so there you go. We've got all the, uh, the logs so far. So what I think we'll do... We'll knock it on the head here tonight. And we'll reconvene. Same bat time, same bat channel. I'll be on about half past two-ish, two, two o'clock-ish. Make sure you set the notifications. And hit the subscribe button if you are not already a liker or subscriber on Facebook or a follower on the Twitches. So, there you go. I've been Ricardo. Thanks for everyone in the chat. It's been great having a good conversation about you and you listening to me moaning. Um, about my Texas trip. And I'll see you all tomorrow. Take it easy. And have a big 07.